we kind of just sort of wanted to explore that and see if there was a way to, to build a movie that, that did all these other fun things that could be absurd, that could be um, emotional, that could be uh, uh, action-packed, but also be, um, be sweet and sentimental and earnest and maybe about something, you know, something else. So it felt important to us to come up with a, a Barbara Gordon character who could be the voice of reason in Gotham City, who came in, you know, she'd gone away to school someplace else, now she's coming in to replace her father as commissioner, and she's kind of looking around Gotham and says, wait a minute, this guy has been, you've, you, you know, this is the most crime-ridden city in the world, hasn't gotten any better with this guy who's been doing this for 78 years? And there seems to be more and more bad guys uh, uh, every year, more and more costumed, crazy bad guys. Maybe there's another way we should think about this. Will is a very charming rogue. That is his. Uh, that is his character. Is that he's you know he has the, you know he can play that inflated ego that at the same time is also very vulnerable and 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 wounded somewhere in, inside there. Um, but yeah, he's a master at playing that kind of that kind of guy, um, and you know, and yeah, I mean, his interpretation of Batman in the first movie was brilliant, and we just thought it would be you know a lot of fun to keep going and see what you could actually do with that character. Yeah, Robin is you know he looks at the world uh, you know half full, he um, is indefatigable and just you know super positive kid and. Um, and in that it's, you know, his attitude is just such a fun attitude to play with and, and obviously as a contrast to Batman who's dark and brooding. Michael Sarah, such a great actor and um, just so much, just brought a lot of joy to the performance, um, just made everything, uh, you know, plus it up a thousand percent. I wanted to be able to shoot Gotham City so wide and so far away that there are times that you don't even realize you're watching a Lego movie. That you actually, you, this looks like any city and only when you get in do you realize, oh, it's bricks and minifigs and, and that kind of thing. But there are shots in the movie where, it, where you go completely out and you don't even, you think, you know, you could be, mis you know, you could mistake it for just a shot of any city. And that's, that's the, one of the things that we set out to do.